Our topic for this day is on grade 7 math, quarter 3, week 1. So, at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to classify the kinds of angles. Ano ba kaya ang mga classification ng angles? You are watching Tutor Medge! So, simulan natin. Ano ba ang angle? So, an angle is a union of two non-collinear rays with common endpoint. Itong endpoint na ito ay tinatawag nating vertex. Ulitin ko. Ang angle ay binubuo ng dalawang ray. So, we have here ray 1 and ray 2. At may common endpoint na tinatawag naman nating vertex. Take note ha, ang ray merong arrow head. Ano nga ba yung mga classification ng angles? So, una, gamit muna tayo ng ating uh, illustration. So, ano bang illustration ang gagamitin? So, there you can see the alarm clock. O, note nyo lang na ang alarm clock na ito ay i-divide natin. Okay, so, itong nilagay ko na uh, cross dito, so, ito yung mag-i-indicate saan ba tayo magsisimula. Sisimula tayo sa pagbilang dito sa ating tree. Okay? So, inote lang that you have to consider every unit from this tree, papunta doon, paikot, every unit. Pagdating sa 2, it will be 30 degrees. Pagdating sa 1, another 30 degrees, so magiging 60. Another 30 degrees, another 30, 30, 30. So, ulitin ko. Consider every unit from 3 moving counterclockwise. Dapat magme-measure yun na 30 degree. Okay. So, let's start. First one is the acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures more than 0 degree but less than 90 degrees. So, anong magiging itsura nito? It is something like this. So, dahil 2 units away from 3 ito, ang measure niya ay 60 degrees. Next one is the right angle. So, a right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. So, it is something like this. So, para siyang 3 o'clock. Okay? So, ilang units? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 times 30, that is 90 degrees. Next one is the obtuse angle. So, an obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So, example tayo. So, yan. Parang 255. Okay. So, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 30 degrees. Ang measure na natin ngayon dito ay 150 degrees. Next is the straight angle. Okay, ang straight angle is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees, ito yun, bilangin natin from 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times 30 degrees, that is now 180 degrees. Next one is the reflex angle. So, a reflex angle is an angle that measures more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So, it is something like this. So, bilang tayo ha, take note mula sa 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8. 8 times 30 degrees is 240 degrees. And the last one, this is the so-called full angle. Kuminsan tinatawag din itong one revolution. Okay? So, this is an angle that measures exactly 360 degrees. So, ganito ang itsura. Ngayon, nagpatong na yung mga rays natin. So, bilangin natin from 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 30 degrees. So, that will be 360 degrees. So, tingnan natin ngayon kung maunawaan ang uh, pag-classify kung uh, alam mo ba ang tinatawag na angle at ang hindi angle. Okay, let us try. Angle or not? So, this one. Angle. This one. Okay, not an angle. This one. Not an angle. So, ngayon, tingnan natin, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba nila? Ito, yung una, angle. Kasi, na-meet niya yung description ng angle na meron itong dalawang ray at may common end point na tinatawag nating vertex. While, dito sa dalawa, nag-meet sila Pero hindi iyon ang mga endpoints. Bakit hindi endpoints? Ito kasing arrow, ibig sabihin nito, dire-diretso, dire-diretso. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya mag-e-end dyan. Tulad din dito, meron din siyang arrow dito sa intersection nila. So, ibig sabihin, dire-diretso din pa. Dire-diretso, diretso, diretso. So, the only angle here is the first given figure. Sana naunawaan. So, tungkol naman dun sa ating napag-aralan kanina, with the classification, I just hope alam na ninyo ang pinagkaiba-iba ng right, obtuse, acute, straight, reflex, at full angle. Hanggang sa muli! Like! And subscribe to Tormed. Happy learning!